It is time. I'll tell you what it's time for. It's time to hurl venomous axes with the thief's expanded weapon proficiency. That is right. Not dual wield axes, as we may have seen on the Guild Wars 2 Twitter. It is, in fact, main hand axes coming up for Thief. And this is actually a really fun one here as well. Uh, here's the, the outline. It's actually going to be a hybrid weapon, which is somewhat similar to the Ranger stuff. And that's interesting. It's going to have options for both power and condition damage. It's a ranged weapon. And it's going to be... AoE as well. So there's going to be some air of effect attacks as well uh, on the axe. Actually, really cool idea, I think. Definitely kind of fills a little bit in the uh, the holes of the Thief playstyle. You know, certainly in PvE, uh, Thief does struggle a little bit with kind of the uh, especially ranged area attacks. So kind of filling that in is really, really cool. And I'm sure there'll be plenty of creative uses for this in the other game modes as well. I think the mechanic that they've said it, the special mechanic, is particularly exciting. So I'll explain that before we kind of get into the details here and talk about it a little bit more generally. The thief special mechanic with the axe here uh, is that your abilities will leave spinning axes on the ground. And then it looks like your dual skill will recall those axes and they'll all kind of like spin either towards your target, right? Or, or towards you or something like that. So you put them, it's a bit like Kanaxai on Silent Server. It seems to be inspired by that. You can role play as a fractal boss now. And these axes will just be like a resource that you can pull and then throw at stuff or use them in some way. And the more the better. And there's like thresholds for having bonus effects and all that kind of cool stuff. Uh, which I think is actually really, really cool. And as a little bit of a note, just for maybe players who are non-thief enjoyers, this does mean, I think, that all of these weapons that we're getting, so the ones that we haven't seen yet, they it seems very likely to me that all of them are going to have this kind of underlying extra mechanic to give the weapon a bit more depth and a bit more impact. The way that you can think about this is that these new weapons are almost going to have like an extra skill attached to them, um, as opposed to just the weapon skills. Like you've got the weapon skills, then they're all going to have this like mechanic. Like we saw Force of Nature with Ranger, we're seeing the spinning axes with Thief, and I think that's actually a really good thing, because not only is it going to make them more comparable to an elite specialization, kind of think uh, Catalyst Hammer, right? Like Catalyst Hammer is almost more of an elite spec than Catalyst itself. That does say a bit more about Catalyst than Hammer, but you know what I'm saying here. So I think that's actually really cool, and it really allows ArenaNet to give these weapons a bit more of a nudge. It, it, allows it, to, it allows them to change the game and have a much higher impact on your build. It also raises some really interesting questions about how ArenaNet want to design weapons overall. It certainly gives uh, all these new ones a lot of flavor and a lot of identity. And I almost am thinking about, like, if they might eventually end up rolling out this type of design, this type of resource spender design uh, on kind of overarching mechanic to a lot of other weapons as well over time. If we see a rework, would it end up like this? It's a really good question. Is this like a special type of weapon uh, that would only be added to the game rather than reworked? It's a great question. I'm sure we'll find out more on the live stream as well. But anyway, let's go ahead and actually get into talking about it. I guess, you know, we should watch a video first, okay? Let's go ahead and watch the video here uh, for this. So here we have a thief. They're in Dragon's End. Wow, that's how you know it's going to be good. You can even see, you can even see them kind of um, tip the hat to the Kanaxai influence using the Kanaxai axe here, of course, I believe. I think that's the Kanaxai axe. But here we go. You can see they're firing out axes. There they are spinning around on the ground and then boom, they get pulled back in for some special effects. Now, of course, we don't know all the details here. They're only going to reveal just a couple of skills, actually. And Thief, if you think about it, has a couple more, right? Because, of course, Thief has a stealth attack that will also come into play um, with uh, the axe. And also, you have the malicious stealth attack uh, from Deadeye. And we have these dual skills, right? Because, of course, Thief's third slot on the weapon set will change depending whether you have a pistol or a dagger uh, in the offhand as well. So there's extra skills there. Uh, too. So this weapon, again, can be very, very impactful. And the big thing here is that they talk about, this is kind of exciting, uh, is that, let's see, where did they say this? Ah, uh, oh yeah, here we go. Uh, the, it's a ranged damage dealing weapon that can be utilized by both power and condition builds depending on the offhand weapon. So in other words, it will be a power weapon with one of the offhands and then Condi with the other, which is pretty cool. And it looks like 
we can actually have a little bit of insight uh, into this as well. An offhand dagger is Harrowing Storm. The thief teleports to the enemy and recalls all spinning axes back to themselves, all bent in the axes to also inflict torment. So it looks like dagger might end up being the um, the Condi weapon, the Condi offhand with the dagger. So the pistol is looking like it will be a power um, a power dual skill, potentially. So that's how you would utilize this in, let's say, a power build, uh, which is pretty cool, if you ask me. So you're not getting your pistol pistol. It's going to be axe pistol. How about that, huh? Yeah, some uh, blade sworn roleplay there, almost. Let's look at these skills. Skill two is Venomous Volley, which throws out a fan of three poisonous axes. Once these axes reach their final destination, they'll remain spinning at that location, but won't deal additional damage while stationary. Up to six spinning axes can be active at once. You know, so there you go. No extra damage. You know, I, I you know, this will be a bit of a weird meme. I, I, I imagine a bit of a concern here would actually be PvP, funnily enough, which is probably why they didn't want it to be like these really long duration kind of spinning AoEs that were about the place. Honestly, that would be a bit of a nightmare in PvE as well. I think players wouldn't like that. But it would have been interesting if there was some kind of damage component to those, I think. But I, I definitely understand why they didn't, because this would be a real headache to play around in PvE, and in PvP could potentially be really disgusting, right? Because it looks like these axes can be out there for a long time. Just cover the entire node in axes, right? It would be, uh, be good content. And of course, in PvE, it would be like, Oh no, the boss moved out of my axes. It's over. I do no damage now. So that's why they've gone in that direction. Pretty cool, though. So basic attack, you know, just throw out your poison axes. So there is going to be a little bit of Condi on this all the time. But bear in mind, just because this has Condi doesn't mean it doesn't do damage. A perfect example would be Ranger Axe. Notice that Ranger Axe, Split Blade, actually is a very high DPS power weapon as well. In particular, um, yes, the auto attack's good, the second skill's good, and the third skill's good for your power soul beast, for example. So there can still be good power scaling on this, and the poison can basically be really good if you're playing a Condi build, or like a nice bonus if you're playing a more power-oriented build, because that dual skill is where the real value is going to be. And again, because this is Thief, remember that that dual skill can be unbelievably impactful, right? Because you don't have a cooldown on your abilities, so you can kind of just go crazy. Now, you are probably... And this is actually really intelligent design, but I just realized this, for PvE. One of the things that PvE, uh, Thief, really struggles with, right? Is that you kind of spam the same skill, you, like your best DPS skill, you just mash it like crazy. But think about that. That actually might generate a slightly more exciting playstyle with the way this works, because you're probably going to want to build up axes and then spend them with your dual skill. So it will actually be a little bit less, oh, I'm going to... oh boy, I can't wait to press weakening charge again. I'm so excited, right? And it might be a little bit more like, ah, okay, I've got to build resource, spend resource, build resource, spend resource, while you're also managing your initiative as well. Uh, and honestly, that might be... Um Pretty exciting, actually. A little bit more of an uh, exciting playstyle for some of our thief enjoyers out there. Let's see what the dual skill does. The dual skill with offhand dagger is Harrowing Storm. Well, we already kind of talked about this, right? This is the Torment one. Uh, but here you go. This is really cool. The next part is fun. The returning axes maintain their original properties. So in this example, the returning axes that were created by Venomous Volley will inflict both Torment and and poison. For maximum value, build up more axes before recalling them, as an enemy struck by five returning axes will also be immobilized for a short duration. So this is kind of what I was saying, right? Like, if you have loads of axes and you manage your resource carefully, you get a bonus effect. I think this is a really cool overarching theme, actually, because, of course, you're, you might not always want to do that. Sometimes you want a quick burst of damage, but if you can line up a really good combo, you get rewarded for that, right? You get that immobilized as all the axes uh, kind of spin back you're getting that torment and poison and you also get that immobilized to like lock down your opponent as well uh which i think is really really cool this is definitely the type of mechanic that can like uh do more with less right uh this is a good principle of design in my opinion for a lot of these elite specialized elite spec weapons we're not just adding um three skills to the game you know a bit more with thief but you know what i mean right there's also this kind of extra mini game and this depth to it that can really add a lot to it of course you can then combine it with other weapons uh and of course there'll be loads of different builds you can play like and you have that power versus conny thing going on this there's a lot of versatility in how it works but yeah i like the design of this this sounds like a really really fun mechanic that's gonna have a distinctive play style and vary up your thief gameplay and again bear in mind this is the replacement for an elite specialization essentially so it's important that it does that i think arena of being very very careful here to make sure that it's not like oh i've got an axe now i guess that's pretty good it's gonna be 
This is a new build. This is a new playstyle. Gives me, it makes me really excited for the other weapons, actually, um, uh, in this regard, right? Um, because I think one of the concerns with this, and certainly the concern after Weapon Master training, it was like, oh, I'm playing Ellie, but I've got a sword and a warhorn now on my Tempest. Hooray! It wasn't really that different. It didn't, didn't it, you know, I don't know, maybe I'm just the only one. I was like, oh, I've got Pistol on my Necro. Whoa, whoa, woo! But this looks like this type of design philosophy that we see extended to these weapons, it's going to be a bit more than that. It's going to enable a bit more of a playstyle change up in addition to just being some new skills as well, which I am a little bit of a big fan of. But they're playing this one close to the chest. Like, we get nothing. Look at this. We're about to show off the rest of them, the full set of weapons on the live stream. Wow. Not much. They're not hitting us with very much here with the Thief one, because there's definitely a lot more to this. You know, I don't want to give people too much copium, um, but you know, the returning axes maintain their original properties. So in this in this example, the returning axes that were created by Venomous Volley will, increase, uh, will inflict both torment and poison. That, to me, suggests that there is going to be more than one variant of axe. So maybe... Um, some other skill, maybe the stealth attack, will create a different type of axe. Maybe even the auto attack uh, would create a different type of axe, right? So maybe you want to auto attack and that as a special axe. These are poison axes. Maybe the auto attack is like a physical damage axe. So that would interact with the power ones. You, you get some autos right out there. Uh, and then those auto attack axes are going to do like a big burst of power damage. Or something like that. So that's like another layer. That's like another layer, right? We've got we've got the fact that we're putting the axes out there. We use these axes and then spend them with our dual skill. It's different on different weapon sets. And then maybe there's different types of axes at the same time. So there's a lot going on here, to be honest. You know, weirdly enough, that's almost... In a lot of ways, that's kind of an elite spec. Like, you could almost justify an elite spec around this mechanic. So I think our, our thief friends are eating well, I think, tonight. This is definitely going to be one to check out, in my opinion. Um... Yeah, this is that. That's exciting. I think that this is a uh, more hype than the Ranger one. I feel there's there's a lot going on here uh, that I think can be a lot of fun to play around with, and and, and a lot of stuff to experiment with, and a lot of depth to how this weapon's going to play out. But yeah, that's it. I guess that that's my thoughts on the thief and kind of what this is saying about where we're going with this, uh, where we're going with all these new weapon proficiencies. Uh, so I, I I hope this kind of gives people some confidence. Of course, we shouldn't judge this until it's actually out, but I have to say I'm fairly confident this is going to be a pretty impactful update. You know, the next update for Soto is probably going to be better than the expansion in a lot of ways, right? We're getting the new weapons, the legendary armor and stuff. We're getting off track here, but it's, it's very interesting to see how the development schedule for the game is going to go. It's going to be a very impactful update to the game. A lot's going to shift, I think, uh, when we see these new weapons get out of there. But yeah, very good concept, very good uh, memes. Live stream is going to be good. Placeholder UI, okay? Maybe the, uh, the axes are just like giant cubes or something like that. Who knows? We'll see you in the mists. We need to, <laughs> we need to Roya to read that out every time. But anyway, that's it. That is the Thief Axe main hand. Prepare to throw the axes. Prepare to pull the axes in. Prepare, I don't know, to do something. Okay, to do a variety of things with this new axe. Let me know what you think, of course, in the YouTube comment section, as always. <laughs> Like, comment, and subscribe, and well, you better, you better subscribe and hit the notification bell. We got daily videos about these new weapons, guys, because quick reminder, we're getting a daily post until we've seen every single weapon that is going to be added to the game for all these professions, so plenty more to go. In fact, well, you know, we got, we got seven more to go specifically, so stay tuned, my friends. It is certainly not over. That's it. Thanks for watching, my friends. Oh. And I'll see you next time for the next uh, the next video, the next weapon. Boom! I'm out of here.